Here is your weather video for Saturday morning, next to the last day of February for 2021. Clouds will keep the skies gray throughout the day with a few raindrops possible. Unfortunately, rain stays in the forecast for the rest of the 7-day forecast, except for Wednesday. Let's get to it. The satellite view as of 4.33 this morning shows some clouds streaming across central Alabama. Radar shows us that there are a few light showers falling from those clouds over the northwestern parts of central Alabama and up into the western parts of north Alabama. Temperatures as of the 5 a.m. roundup were in the lower 50s to the upper 60s across the area. Birmingham was at 67 degrees as the warm spot, while Gadsden was the cool spot at 52 degrees. We have a dense fog advisory that just went into effect for the extreme southeastern portions of central Alabama that includes Barber, Bullock, Pike, and Russell counties until 9 a.m. this morning. No other watches, warnings, or advisories are in effect for the rest of the area. We can expect a decent amount of rainfall across central Alabama for this seven-day period as the WPC is projecting upwards of two to three inches for the area through midnight on Friday night. Now let's dive into the models as we'll start off with the 06Z run of the GFS valid today at 3 p.m. After the warm front moved through the area on Friday, it washed out and now has become a cold front and it will very slowly drift into the extreme northern parts of North Alabama throughout the day. For central Alabama, that means that skies will remain generally cloudy with isolated to scattered showers possible mainly for locations north of I-20. A few rumbles of thunder may become possible during the afternoon, but no severe weather is expected. Highs will be in the lower 70s to right around 80 degrees. The old cold front will eventually dissipate, but a new and stronger cold front will begin its trip toward central Alabama on Sunday. At this point, much of the morning and into the early parts of the afternoon may be dry, but rain and storms look to move into the northwestern parts of the area during the latter part of the afternoon and eventually moving throughout the rest of central Alabama. No severe weather is expected and highs will be in the mid-70s to the lower 80s across the area. The cold front will have made its way into the southern parts of central Alabama by Monday, but rain and thunderstorms will be likely for the entire area to start but rain chances do begin to dissipate some as we move through the afternoon and evening hours. No severe weather is expected, and highs will be in the mid-50s to the upper 60s. Showers and a few thunderstorms will remain in the forecast for Tuesday, but the activity will be finally starting to move out of the area during the overnight hours. Highs will be in the mid-50s to the mid-60s across the area. The good news is that the shower and thunderstorm activity is finally out of central Alabama on Wednesday, and we'll get a brief chance to dry out a little. Skies will be partly to mostly cloudy and highs will be in the lower 60s to the lower 70s. A surface low looks to form over the northern parts of Texas on Thursday that will be moving in our direction. Moisture will move back into the area by the afternoon hours and a few isolated to scattered showers will be possible for the remainder of the day. Highs will be in the 60s. The low will be over central Alabama by Friday afternoon, and that means we can expect a good coverage of showers and thunderstorms throughout the day. The GFS is painting a decent amount of instability over the area during the afternoon and evening hours, so we may have to watch for a few strong storms. Highs will be in the upper 50s to the upper 60s. That is the end of your video for today. We'll have notes on the blog throughout the day. Bill Murray will have the next video out on Sunday morning. I'm Scott Martin signing off for today. Have a great day and God bless.